So a couple of days ago, the Cleveland Browns made the controversial decision to decide to sign Kareem Hunt. A lot of people have debated whether he should or shouldn't be playing in the NFL after that video was released. However, I'm not in the business of deciding who is or isn't a good person. I'm just here to talk about football, and there's no doubt about it that he's a great football player. So if you're looking for some social commentary on this whole situation, this is not the video for you. I'm sure you'll have no problem finding other videos that will give you that. I'm just here to talk about what he brings to the table as an offensive player. The reality is, Cleveland's getting a great running back for $600,000, and let me show you how he can be so great. As you see on this play, the Patriots are actually going to drop an extra man back in coverage. And as you see, those are the routes that the Chiefs will be running, and that's where Kareem Hunt is on the field. Also, one thing worth mentioning before the ball was snapped is look at the Patriots' defensive backs on the field. They're all playing very close to wide receivers, which typically is a sign for man coverage. However, this is zone coverage, which most of the time would mean that people are going to be very out of position. However, since New England is setting an extra man back in coverage, this now means that they don't have as far to go to to get into their assigned zones, and it's going to be beneficial for the Patriots as the Chiefs are expecting man coverage even though it isn't. So everyone's going to be covered up pretty well on this play. However, one thing you'll want to take a look at is the Patriots' safety on the top half of the screen is going to be breaking in as he sees a route in that direction. This now means that Kareem Hunt is going to be in good position if he can run towards the sidelines. However, there's one problem, and that problem is the Patriot who's assigned of guarding Kareem Hunt is a solid 5 yards in front of him. This means that Kareem Hunt is going to have to run very quickly to get by him. However, that ends up being exactly what happens. And I know that Patriot doesn't exactly take the best way where he doesn't turn his hips quick enough and that's a huge reason why Hunt was able to get past him. However, Hunt was still able to blow past him easily. Well, yes, Patrick Mahomes did do a very good job of scrambling to buy time to allow Kareem Hunt to eventually get open. There was only a three-man rush, so plenty of quarterbacks, including Baker Mayfield, could be able to make plays like this. And now with Hunt, this play could easily happen for the Cleveland Browns just like it happened for the Chiefs. I'm saying that because a lot of people have some questions as to how good Kareem Hunt really is, and that makes sense. I mean, the Chiefs do seemingly churn out running backs left and right, and even when he left, Damian Williams still played very well as his backup, so there is a lot of questions as to how talented he really is. Although, I think those questions can be easily answered just by watching a little bit of tape. As you see on this play, Denver's going to be running a cover one linebacker blitz. Kansas City has both Hunt and Hill in the backfield on this play, and they're going to fake as though it's going to be a handoff to Hill to the top half of the screen, and they're also going to fake as though it could be a handoff to Hunt to the bottom half of the screen. Now, because of this play fake, it ended up being a blown coverage by Denver, as they ended up having two linebackers up towards the top half of the screen, and neither of them are on Hunt, even though one of them was assigned to cover him in this man coverage scheme. This now allows Hunt to easily get a first down. However, I'm not here to talk about Denver Broncos blown coverages. I'm here to talk about how talented Hunt is. And as you see on this play, typically you know what's going to happen here. The Bronco can simply just use the sideline as another defensive back. He can just break the angle very well and then allow Hunt to get out of bounds. It's a pretty simple play, really. However, watch what Hunt does here. He completely changed his momentum to get past the Bronco and then runs over another one. This allows him to pick up another 10 yards after that already great play. That's the kind of thing that Hunt brings to the table. He's going to turn 20-yard plays into 30-yard plays, and that's huge for a running back, especially one only getting paid $600,000. This next play is another really good play by Hunt. As you see, first Kansas City is going to have two linemen and a tight end have one-on-one -on -one matchups, and they're also going to pull their left guard over to the right side of the screen and their right guard over to the right side of the screen. Now that their right guard has been pulled over to that right side of the screen, this means that Darian Stewart would end up getting blocked by him typically if this play works out perfectly. However, you're going to see Adam Goddess do a very good job on this play of winning his one-on-one -on -one matchup, which now means that two Kansas City Chiefs have to end up blocking him. This is now going to allow Stewart to go unblocked towards Hunt. However, look at what Hunt does here. First things first, he's just going to break to the outside, which is something a lot of players would do in this situation, and it makes a lot of sense. However, watch what he does, even though all his momentum is taking him towards the sidelines. He's amazingly able to stop just before getting out, and then continuing to run downfield. I mean, this is just an insanely athletic play. I talked about him turning a 20-yard play into a 30-yard play earlier. Well, here he just turned a 7-yard play into a 50-yard play, just by one great move. That's the difference sometimes in these plays. It's just a running back making a great move. That's all it takes in these plays. And that's what Hunt did, and was huge in this play. He seemingly does this all the time. In fact, here's another play from that same game where the Chiefs are running that exact same blocking concept. And as you see, once again, a Denver Broncos interior lineman is going to do a very good job of creating pressure early, which is going to allow another Bronco to get free without getting blocked. So once again, Hunt should be in trouble as there's contact just a couple of yards behind the line of scrimmage. Although despite that, even though there's contact, he still continues to run at full speed and picks up the first down. 
This is not an easy play to make. Typically, contact means death in the NFL. However, Hunt didn't even let him bother him. That's what he's bringing to the table for Cleveland. He's a very talented player. Some people are saying that this decision doesn't make a ton of sense since Cleveland already has a talented backfield. However, when you're getting him basically for free, why not have him? At very least, now you have a guy who can take 10 carries a game and be very good in those 10 carries. From strictly a football perspective, it's clearly a good decision, and I really look forward to watching Cleveland Browns game next year as they have a ton of talent on the offensive side of the ball.